Hey folks, Coach Patrick here from Marathon Nation, back again with another coach video tip. I get your questions on Twitter, on Facebook, via the blog, and I love them. And then when I get a chance, I'll sit down and record some answers to them. And today, after the Thanksgiving weekend, I've got a little bit of time and uh, an urge to speak out to all of you. And I had a great question as well. Uh, and this question is from Elizabeth. Elizabeth uh, describes herself as a beginner runner. Um, she's done over 100 races over the past five years, from 5Ks to 10Ks to half marathons, um, and loves to run but doesn't consider herself to be built like a runner, and is looking for advice on, on ways to sort of boost her aerobic fitness, and also maybe some help deciphering all those workouts that I keep throwing out in the monthly newsletter. Um, okay, well, first of all, let me put it, let me put it to you bluntly. Um, I get a lot of emails from people who are, consider themselves to be novice runners. I have to tell you, Elizabeth. If you've, if you've been running for five years and you put in over 100 races, I don't care what your speed is, you're not a novice. Okay, a novice is someone who just showed up like last week at the track and doesn't know how to tie their shoes right, um, doesn't know which way to run, um, you know, is getting shin splints. Um, you are a veteran. Um, and you may not consider yourself to be as fast as other people, your peers, or perhaps as fast as you want to be, but by no means are you a novice. Um, so let's get down to the deeper rub of your question. Um, dealing with aerobic fitness is kind of unique. Um, because um, the way that people traditionally think about building aerobic fitness is in order to get good at doing aerobic work, I need to go out and do a lot of aerobic work. Um, and the more aerobic work that I do, the better. Uh, and as a result, people will say, wow, if I want to get good at, at running a marathon, um, I need to do a lot of you know, 75 or 90 minute or, or 100, you know, an hour, 45 minute workouts um, you know, to build up this time running so I get good at running. Um, and uh, it's simply not true. Um, running long is an important part of your race preparation for doing um, a marathon, say, or a half marathon. Uh, but in general, aerobic fitness um, is not a function of how long you can run or how often you can run that long. Uh, um, in fact, um, for most of us who are you know, everyday people who have jobs and family, you mentioned you had a baby, um, most of us, we don't simply have the amount of time in our day to do all of the aerobic running required, to see the benefits from all of that aerobic running uh, in our race day performances. The sheer amount of it is too much. Um, as such, it becomes we start to break down. We can't take care of our bodies. We can't sleep half the day like the elite Kenyans do. I, can't, I don't have someone preparing my food for me like the people at Athletes Performance in Arizona. I've I got kids. i got to be up at four. got to get my workout. i got to go to work, right? So um, instead, what I counsel people to do through Marathon Nation is to say, hey, let's measure your aerobic fitness by having you do a 5K time trial, um, which is um, which some of you might not consider aerobic, but generally anything that takes you longer than about six or eight minutes to complete is in, is in fact an aerobic activity all the way down to a marathon. So doing a 5K, which may take you 20 or, or 25 or 30 minutes, that's an aerobic benchmark. That's an aerobic activity. We do that 5K number, and then we train you through quality, hard work, also aerobic, um, to improve that 5k number and in our world the rising tide lifts all boats if I can take your 5k and move it from from 2630 to 2430 in 12 weeks or 14 weeks everything else that you do half marathon times marathon times all of those will rise as well because we've raised your 5k time in other words um, you know let's say you used to run 10 minute miles easy and you do your 5ks at, at you know 830 uh, now your 5k pace is like 745 but well, that 10 minute easy, you that's like walking for you now. Now your easy pace is like 9.15s. Your easy pace is 9.15s, now your marathon pace is like nine. You've taken your marathon pace and we've bumped it up almost a minute per mile um, because of that 5K test. Yes, you still have to go out and do that longer running, but understand that your ability to run longer is predicated on having the muscles and the strength and the fitness to do so. Uh, and the best way to do that is actually to test your fitness now and then train to improve that fitness. Um, we talk about going doing the get fast work before we do the go far work. And that's how we train inside Marathon Nation. And that's what I would encourage you to focus on as well. Don't take speed work out of the options on the table for you simply because uh, you don't consider yourself to be a runner. Uh, you may very well be one, as I suspect you are. Um, your other question for me was dealing with all those crazy acronyms, those interval workouts. Um, four by 200 was your example. 200, those, those numbers are simply breakdowns of the distance around a track. One lap around a track is 400 meters. Four by 400 meters is a mile. Four laps around a track is a mile. So if you see a 200, that just means half a lap around a track. Um, I'm sure there's websites out there that explain sort of what all the breakdowns are. We do so inside the team for all of our members, which of course you can create a, 
you know, a trial to check that out if you want. Um, that said, um, we think about training inside Marathon Nation a lot like lifting weights. So uh, because I've got interval sessions for you to do, the workouts look kind of like weight repetitions if you've ever done a weightlifting program. Two by one mile, six by half mile, four by, you know, three quarters mile. Uh, we really focus in on the, the work elements of your session because that's really, really important. The long runs tend to be a little different in that we have you running set paces for longer periods of time. But the majority of the quality work inside Marathon Nation does in fact look like a weight workout like you've seen there. All right. I hope that helps. I wish you the best of luck. Don't hold yourself back. You may actually be more of a runner than even you think you are. Uh, best of luck to you this winter season with your running. I look forward to following your progress online. Take care.